Hello and a very warm welcome to yet another interesting edition of the program, CAC Weekly, a weekly program that keeps you abreast on the activities and the achievements of the Corporate Affairs Commission. My name is Maria Aduzakari. Coming up on CAC Weekly, Finance Minister visits the CAC. Ease of doing business, CAC sets to roll out new services. CAC management facilitates the Registry General as he marks 100 days in office. Plus, commerce sector to receive a boost as CAC Mall's partnership with Lingo State to set up one stop shop for company registration. We'll be right back. Attention, business owners. Did you know that failing to file your annual return can put your company at risk? In Nigeria, the Company and Allied Matters Act 2020 requires all registered entities to submit their annual return to the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, or face serious consequences. The listing, striking of the CAC register, these are not just empty threats. They are real risks that can strip you of your business license, cutting off access to government activities, support, subvention, and crucial post-incorporation services. The law is clear. Annual returns are mandatory for the continued recognition of your business as a legal entity. Act now. Good news. Filing your annual return has never been easier. Introducing the CAC online portal, your convenient, efficient, and accessible solution to fulfill your annual return obligations. File your annual return online through the CAC portal today. CAC, committed to prompt and efficient service. Welcome back. And we'll begin with a history-making event as the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wale Edun, has applauded the Registrar General Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, Hussein Ishak Magaji San for taking the commission to the next level. He commended the Registrar General for launching online premium services for same-day registration, same-day update application, same-day status report application, same day search from 24 hours incorporation he met on assumption of office 100 days ago. The minister who was at the CAC to show support and encouragement admonished the commission to imbibe artificial intelligence to take its automation drive to the next level. In appreciation for the visit, the Registry General highlighted the roles of the CAC as key player in registration, regulation and investigation of businesses, companies as well as investments. <laughs> the Honorable Minister of Finance, Honorable Economy and Coordinating Economy, Mr. Wale Edu, Agla Ekawa, and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen seated here. Honorable Minister, we are honored, graciously honored with this visit. It has never happened in the history of CAC. The Minister of Finance stepping into this place. We are highly honored with this. And uh, first and foremost, I will start to be short to tell you what CAC holds all about. Corporate Affairs Commission is a creation of the law to provide three services. We are to register businesses in Nigeria. We are also have the power to investigate the activities of registered businesses in Nigeria. We also have the power to regulate the activities of business, registered businesses in Nigeria. So by definitely formalizing and integrating these 20 million businesses, we definitely, we definitely sure that this government has achieved almost 40 or 50 percent of the goal targeted. And equally, we also, because only in Nigeria that this kind of organization has operated in this big size. This is charitable organizations and also those with companies. In UK, they only have company house and charitable organizations. In US, also like this. But here, in Nigeria, we have, apart from the company activities, we also deal with incorporated trustees. Incorporated does the registration of the activities of NGOs and other things. So our activities is massive. But 
the nature of our activity is like we're facilitating businesses. We are providing services, unlike the core revenue generated agencies. Because here we have been placed on the issue of ease of doing businesses. Our fees is very minimal to ensure that the, we have achieved that policy of ease of doing businesses. So uh, uh, we, we are facilitating businesses of sort. This is the reason why we have been clamoring for why your office now will see the reason why we should be removed on this issue of 15, 15, 15 percent reduction. He noted that the CAC is the entry point to the Nigerian economy as and is facilitating services and should not be categorized as revenue generating agency of government, hence they need to remove it from the list of revenue generating agency that should remit 50% of its revenue. High point of the visit was kind admonition to the commission by the minister to show support and solidarity regarding the new circular from the office of the accountant general of the federation on 50% reduction from internally generated revenue. He committed to restoring the faith of the public in government expenditure, in hanging of their money, by bringing efficiency and bringing transparency to the handling of government expenditure in all its facets. So the rules that are on the ground, that are extant, as the lawyers would say, and I'm sure that lawyers here, the Police Corporate Affairs Commission, is just implementing them in favor of the people of Nigeria. He made sure that he has said it. What he meant was a lopsided system, benefiting a few. Um, an important part of that, and the National Assembly on June 30, on December 30th, if you go and look at the hands that they call it the proceedings of that day, they, they, they required the government and the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Finance Incorporated to go and make sure that the revenue that belongs to the federal government goes into the consolidated revenue fund as opposed to other parts. And so that is all that is being done here. But I must say, um, to the extent that an organization, a commission, a corporation brings their evidence, brings their data, and lays out the details as to why it is not applicable or appropriate or even uh, practical for them to be um, complying um, in the same way, in this direct methodology, because everybody complies, but this is direct. Um, to the extent that it's not appropriate for them, they, they say there is a procedure and a process and a leeway for them to lay their case. And it may take time to get the figures together and show uh, um, why maybe it shouldn't apply to you in the same way. Because it's just a methodology, a methodology of bringing government revenue has revenue that is not within the consolidated revenue for them, and it limits the ability to spend on critical infrastructure, the ability to spend on social services, the ability to take care of the poor and the vulnerable. And so it is well intentioned. But as everybody's grandmother will tell them, the road to help. Good, good intention, and that's why there will be leeway to listen to people who come with evidence and data and details. And I think they said that before. But if you don't want to waste time, just split the thing 50 50 and go on about this <laughs> registrar general, directors, staff of uh, corporate affairs commission, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you. According to Mr. Wale Edin, the 50% deduction policy of the federal government from revenue generating agencies 
was President Bola Ahmed effort to achieve rapid, sustained, and inclusive growth aimed at restoring faith and confidence of the public through a government's expenditure to bring transparency to bear. And now on to another landmark achievement. The Caprito Fias Commission has unveiled plans to roll out a host of services for its valued customers. Registrar General and CEO of CAC, Caprito Fias Commission Hussaini Shah Magajisan, revealed this while receiving the Lagos State Commissioner for Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment, Mrs. Folashade Ambrose Medembem, on a courtesy visit to his office. Saini Shak Magaji, who had just marked 100 days in office, said services that include same-day registration, premium service, same-day company status update, and same-day filing of annual returns, amongst others, will soon be available for customers. The CAC boss also said that the commission was working hard to check the proliferation of illegal businesses without registration as stipulated under the provisions of Section 863, Subsection 1 and 2 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Tama 2020. He therefore said that the commission's goal for the year 2024 was to register 20 million new businesses for the growth of the economy. Moving on to another history-making event, the Registry General and CEO of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Hussaini Shak Magajistan, recently clocked 100 days in office. To mark the history-making event, the management and staff of the Commission have joined well wishes around the world to celebrate the milestone. On behalf of the CAC, management and staff, the Director of Human Resources, Olayemi Olamide Oyani, led a delegation to the Registry General's office to congratulate him on the day and to present a surprise congratulatory gig to him. Thank you very much. The response, I will say, you are telling me to do more. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we thank God for this. In 100 days in office, we have achieved a little. And it's a more. At least we are able to conclude the issue of the promotional exams. <laughs> we concluded the two pending ones, 2021 and 2022, and we are set for 2023. And uh, equally now, Part of our effort, we are able to fetch small businesses registration worth 20 million, yeah. and this is this is never happened. This has never happened in the history of Nigeria, not even a CAC. And in the 33 years of CAC now, CAC has recorded the highest revenue so far in 2020. 2023. We recorded 24 billion. And the bulk of this bulk of this revenue came from October to December. That's to tell you. <laughs> and today is January 20, 24th. And from our record, we recorded from the first January today, we recorded almost two billion naira. Wow. I think this is the first time. In the first month of the year, CSC we are doing our things at ease. That's why the 50 percent deductions we are able to pay all our liabilities, all our district debts. We are paying our salaries, our allowances. Even today, they are just approved for the subcontract payment of the district salary. And I'm sure some of you have received their houses, housing allowances. I uh, will continue by good grace before much will round up with the wow. issue of how yeah. yeah. So I appreciate thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you. This will go a long way. Alayami Oyeni appreciated his impactful leadership and prayed to God Almighty to continue to grant him good health and wisdom to set the commission to greater heights. Respondent, the Registrar General and CEO of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Hussaini Ishaq Magajisan, 
thanked the management and staff of the commission for what he called a surprise injustice. Hussaini Magaji used the forum to restate his commitment to impact positively on the commission and diligently serve the nation. The AC Weekly recalls that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu approved the appointment of Hussaini Ishak Magaji San as Registry General on October 13, 2023, and he assumed duty on October 16, 2020, amends pomp and pageantry. <laughs> Congratulations to the RG and wish him more success in office. Let's now shift gears to talk about collaboration with stakeholders. In a bid to make Lagos a 21st century investor hub, the state government has urged the Corporate Affairs Commission to set up a one-stop registration desk in the state. The Lagos State Commissioner for Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment, Mrs. Fulashadi Ambrose Medembem, made the request during a courtesy visit on the Registry General of the Corporate Affairs Commission, Hussaini Ishak Magajisan, in his office. Fola Shadi, who described Lagos as the commercial trade hub for businesses in Africa, said there was a dire need for the setup of CAC One Stop Desk in the Ministry for Stimulus Company Registration, in line with the ease of doing business initiatives of the present administration. Polashadi stressed that the Babaji de Sanwolu administration was determined to make Lagos an investor friendly city and comparable to the best mega cities around the world. To ensure it achieves its goal, the commissioner said Lagos holds an annual corporate assembly for key stakeholders, corporate business leaders, and leading entrepreneurs to brainstorm and develop implementable solutions for economic growth and development. He revealed the Lagos State government's plan to set up an MSME's database, which also requires the commission's support. Respondent, the Registry General, Usaini Ishak Magajisan, described the request as timely and valuable, adding that the CAC operates a similar arrangement with the Abuja Enterprise Agency, AEA. It was also revealed that the commission was ready to accept requests for bulk registration of businesses at discounted rates for the Lagos State government as it was done for other states on request. Hussaini Magaji, who stressed that the commission's delivery time for company registration was 24 hours, informed the visiting Lagos State Government Executive on the existence of CAC Beneficial Ownership Register, BOR, where information and company ownership can be accessed free of charge. We now go global. Registrar General and CEO CAC Hussein Ishak Magaji Fan has pledged to sustain collaboration with the a Global Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI, to ensure robust beneficial ownership transparency in Nigeria. Hussein Ishak Magaji stated this while receiving a delegation of Oslo based organization on a courtesy visit to the Commission. As the host of the first ever beneficial ownership register, BOR, in Africa, the Registry General said the Commission was committed to achieving global validation for the project. Earlier, the Oslo Norway based organization, led by the Executive Secretary, Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiatives, NEITI, Dr. Oji Obonaya Oji, applauded the Commission's tremendous contribution in enhancing beneficial ownership transparency in Nigeria. Oji Obonaya Oji therefore solicited continued collaboration as a critical stakeholder in the EITI process. He enjoyed the commission to work assiduously towards achieving the global validation scheduled for the next three years. The AC Weekly reports that the EITI is a global organization committed to enthroning transparency, accountability, and good governance of revenues from natural resources with a view to reducing global poverty. Nigeria is a member of the global body and is represented by NEITI as the national body driving transparency principles in the country. 
And now a message for company owners. Attention business owners. Did you know that failing to file your annual return can put your company at risk? In Nigeria, the Company and Allied Matters Act 2020 requires all registered entities to submit their annual return to the Corporate Affairs Commission (CAC) or face serious consequences. The listing, striking of the CAC register, these are not just empty threats. They are real risks that can strip you of your business license, cutting off access to government activities, support, subventions, and crucial post-incorporation services. The law is clear. Annual returns are mandatory for the continued recognition of your business as a legal entity. Act now. Good news. Filing your annual return has never been easier. Introducing the CAC online portal, your convenient, efficient, and accessible solution to fulfill your annual return obligations. File your annual return online through the CAC portal today. CAC committed to prompt and efficient service. So, have you updated your records with the CAC? Well done if you have. And if you are yet to do that, please hurry now to www.cac.gov.ng to file your return to avoid being struck off. The CAC remains committed to working hard to provide prompt and efficient service to customers in line with global best practices. And that does it for this week's edition of the program, CAC Weekly. We hope you enjoyed watching. For comments and inquiries, please take advantage of our social media handles and call center. On X, we're at CAC Nigeria 1. On Instagram and Facebook, we're at Corporate Affairs Commission. Our email address is helpdesk at cac.gov.ng. You can reach our website at www.cac.gov.ng. And our call center number is 070-8062-9000. Do join us next week for another interesting edition of the program, same time, same station. From me, Maria Adubakari, and the whole team here, it's bye for now.